Shakur Stevenson has announced via social media that he has officially begun training camp for his next WBC lightweight title defense. Scheduled against Joe Cordina on October 12th, this fight will take place on the undercard of the highly anticipated Artur Betabiv vs. Dimitri Bivol clash at the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. While matchroom boxing has yet to formally confirm the Stevenson Cordina bout, it is expected to be finalized soon. Reportedly, this will be a one fight deal for the undefeated WBC lightweight champion Stevenson under Eddie Hearn's matchroom boxing, with Shakur planning to remain a free agent in 2025 to pursue a unification bout with Gervonta Tank Davis. The news of Stevenson facing Cordana has sparked mixed reactions across social media. Many fans are critical of the matchup, viewing it as a favor from Hearn to his fighter Cordana, who is unlikely to pose a serious threat to Stevenson. Cordana, currently ranked number 13 by the WBC, would likely not have earned a title shot against Stevenson if he had to climb the ranks the traditional way. Last week promoter Eddie Hearn mentioned that negotiations for Stevenson vs. Cordana fight were underway. However, Stevenson is allowing Hearn to make the official announcement. If Cordana is indeed confirmed as Stevenson's opponent, this matchup will resemble Stevenson's previous fight against Artem Hart Union, where he faced a fighter coming off a loss. In that bout, Hart Union was coming off a defeat to Frank Martin before stepping in to challenge Stevenson for the WBC title. It's curious that Stevenson, despite his rising profile, seems to be building his career by taking on opponents who have struggled in recent outings. His performance against Edwin De Los Santos was particularly underwhelming, casting doubt on his long-term dominance. Boxing insider Julius Giuliani tweeted, There's an agreement for Shakur Stevenson v. Joe Cordina on October 12th on the Better Biv Bival card in Saudi Arabia. Shakur has signed only this fight with Matchroom because he wants to be free in 2025 and negotiate with Gervonta Davis. Cordina has recently moved up to lightweight after losing his IBF title to Anthony Kakis via an 8th round knockout on May 18th in Riyadh. In that fight Cordina looked sluggish and took considerable punishment, leading many to question whether he's truly prepared for the challenge that Stevenson represents. Cordina's struggles were evident in his two previous bouts against Shavkat Rakimov and Edward Vasquez, where he underperformed, setting the stage for his loss to Kakis. Despite its placement on a major card, the fight is not expected to generate much excitement, especially given the presence of more formidable contenders like number 2 ranked Raymond Muratala, number 4 ranked Edwin De Los Santos, and number 6 ranked Andy Cruz, all of whom could pose significant challenges to Stevenson. However, these fighters, known for their power and skill, might be too risky for Stevenson at this stage. Cordina, on the other hand, appears to be a safer choice, giving Stevenson a better chance of securing a victory and setting up a potential fight with William Zapata in February. Since Hearn promotes Cordina, it's plausible that he orchestrated this matchup to benefit both his fighters. Signing Stevenson to a one-fight deal with Matchroom allows Hearn to capitalize on the British market while giving Cordina a quick opportunity to regain momentum with a high profile bout subscribe please like and comment this is very important for the development of the channel see you later